Welcome to the Camberley Judo Club Kettle Classes, where each week we learn a basic fundamental skill in the time that it takes to boil the kettle. And I challenge you to practice every time you're waiting to make a hot drink over the next seven days. Okay, today we're going to be looking at tapping our opponent's front foot to get a reaction. Right, so this works really well against an opposite-sided fighter. So I'm right-handed. We'll have to imagine that the opponent is left-handed. If you're left-handed, obviously imagine your opponent is right-handed. So if I was in my right stance here, my opponent, look, would be in their left stance there. Just to give you a brief idea, so our feet would look something along the lines of that kind of triangle shape there that would be fine. And I'm going to look to just tap this front foot here, or the side of the foot, the ankle, to get our partner reacting, making them think that we're trying to go backwards so that we can set up a forwards technique. For example, like Tayatoshi that we looked at last week. Right, some clear steps with this. So if we, uh, for argument's sake, are talking a traditional sleeve, okay, uh, sorry, collar and sleeve grip there, all right? Now remember that sugiyashi, the replacement step that we've looked at a number of times. I'm going to do a half sugiyashi. I'm not going to step all the way in. I might have to if I'm fighting a very uh, tall opponent here. But most times, just a half sugiyashi, bringing the back foot halfway in, will be enough. Now, as I'm coming forward, moving forwards here, I'm not thinking about foot sweep there. I'm just thinking about staying flexible from the bottom of my knee. All I need to do is make connection. I don't really need any power. All right, so from there. As I start to move forwards and push backwards, look, I'm just gonna bring my foot to the side and just tap my opponent's front foot. So from here, look, half step. As I move forwards, tap, and then put the foot down here. Again, notice that little push back, thinking about elastic with the hands there. I make that snap. My partner will be moving forwards anyway, Okay, trying to uh, regain their postural balance. There, as they're moving forwards, I guide them with the hands, and that's when I can set up my forwards attack. As we said, perhaps Tayatoshi, okay, that we looked at last week. So one more time, slowly. Here, fighting stance, grips up, half replacement step, half sugiyashi. As we're stepping forward, moving forward with the hands, stay flexible from the knee, foot out to the side, tap, regain here then to come on. So in actual time it looks something like boom, that. Don't forget to subscribe to my weekly newsletter, The Grappler's Weekly Weigh-In. It comes out every Thursday and I send it straight to your, uh, your email inbox. So sign up for that at dannywilliamsgbr.com under the subscribe section. And as always, if you enjoyed that video, please check out Camberley Judo Club on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And for more info on the club, go to camberleyjudo.co.uk and we'll see you next week for another Camberley Judo Club Kettle Class.